Hey everyone, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, today we're going to be putting a stealthy flywheel weight on my 01 KX250. I bought the weight used on Thumper Talk classified ads. I think I paid around 40, 50, maybe 60 bucks some time ago. And I've always wanted to try a flywheel weight. And mainly because I'm, I'm trying to get a little more traction out of the turns. Uh, places I ride at, they're usually hard packed and slick and, and when I just try to get out of those turns, I'm, I'm all over the place as opposed to riding uh, my buddies or my brother's four stroke. It's just so much more manageable. So I want to see what this flyweight will do for me. This flywheel weight is an 11 ounce. So it's, you know, I think there is one step heavier and they have a nine ounce and a seven ounce. So we'll just see how the 11 ounce uh, works. Now I do have a pro circuit pipe and that's a top end pipe and a flywheel weights really for the bottom end so I'm not sure how this combo is all going to work out but you know it's a simple install and you know it's a bolt on I can take it on and off and, and see what works and what doesn't so I'm riding this weekend and uh, I'll definitely have some footage of you know me riding it and, and feedback on, on how, it, how it works so let's go over to the workbench and, and see uh, all the parts alright so before we start uh, and I'll show you the parts, uh, definitely go to my site, howtomotorcyclerepair.com, or go uh, in the video description, and there is this free service manual download for this bike. Again, that manual is for a 99-01 to KX250. I also believe I have a 94-98 through 98, uh, and a bunch of other manuals. So definitely uh, check that out. You can download it for free. And one more thing, if you see any parts you like here, I am an affiliate for certain vendors. And what that means is if you click on the ads and make a purchase, I earn a commission at no cost to you. So um, that would definitely help uh, funding the cause here on these how-to videos. So if you can do that, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, if you find a cheaper price, by all means uh, do that. Alright, so here's the packaging. Uh, this part number is 619. And it's going to look a little different because, uh, for one, the tool that it comes with, this thing had a square cutout for uh, a half inch or three eighths drive, and it was completely stripped out. So I had a coworker weld a piece of three quarter hex stock to this, and then he sandblasted it and painted it for me. So, you know, the tool is going to look a little different that you're going to get. And the screws that came with this are totally. Uh, you know, gone. So I got some new screws. They're just quarter twenties. Just make sure you don't go past that in the thread. So I got a bunch of washers. You'll see that in a second. Uh, here's a piston stop that I made, um, which will help lock up the motor, and and you can, so you can crank this down. Basically, I busted the top off of a spark plug. I counterbored this here, and I made a little Delrin piece that will go here so the piston will come up and it'll stop. So the last thing I need to do here is crazy glue this in. Now uh, Stealthy sells a piston stop uh, for I believe around ten dollars so you can do that too. So I'm just gonna crazy glue that in there. Alright comes with an extra ignition gasket, a spacer since this flywheel weight is thicker you need to space out your ignition cover some extra long bolts, an allen key for the lock screws, um, and that's pretty much it. Alright, we're going to need to remove the gear shift lever, so just get an 8mm bolt right down in here, or an 8mm socket, sorry. And you can mark it or punch it so you know where, where it's at before you take it all apart. screw in there so you don't lose it.
want to tear the gasket. Let's remove the spark plug. Insert the piston stop tool. All right, we can go ahead and loosen the 17 mil bolt here. And you can see it rotated. The piston's hitting the lock now. All right, so there's no washer there. That's good. Kit says to um, not use any washers if it has it on there. Alright, so I bolted the tool onto the flywheel weight, and as I mentioned before, this is set up a little differently. These fasteners were too long, so I have some washers under there, and basically I just make sure that that's flush there. So we're going to go ahead and spin it on. Roll the motor over back to the stop on this side. And we're going to torque this to 48 foot pounds. That's what the manual states for this nut. So that's cool. Now just go and tighten all the Allen keys here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the piston stop so I can easily roll the motor over and gain more clearance for the Allen key. And I do want to mention, I did have to make this much longer. Remember that white piece that was only about to here? Well, it wasn't cutting it, so I made another piece, which was much longer, and it worked out great. All right, back down here, I just want to make sure all these are tight, and you want to alternate.
All right, so I have the gasket and spacer on the ignition cover here. Go ahead and use the longer fastener supplied in the kit. Alright, put your gear shift lever back on. And lastly, drop in a plug, spark plug. Alright guys, so that install was pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, I can definitely do that at the track if uh, you know I don't like it or if, you know whatever. So it's it's pretty simple. So uh, I'm definitely going to give some feedback on this um, flywheel weight. Again, I'm going riding this weekend, so hopefully I can just post some footage right after this.